Yeah, it is. And they've just, I guess, recently expanded. Now they have an upstairs to the whole thing and oh, everything. Oh, they do? Yeah. Wow. The detectives, the anti-crime division and everything's up there. Well, that show keeps evolving. It's like the little engine that could. You know, it, just, it keeps yeah. reinventing itself almost every year. Oh, yeah. Because it was pretty big changes this year, I think. Yeah, it's it's gone through quite some changes. Yeah. Are you ready? Not okay. yet. No, not ready. Oh, we've got to wait. That's right. When you're timing, when I get one minute, hit me on the elbow. Okay. You can, you can do that. Yeah. You can hit me if you like. All right, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I think you're good to go. All right. So, Josh, you escaped West Virginia. Was that, did that take a lot of nerve? I mean, you were obviously planning to do something else if you took marketing in school. Yeah. Well, it, I don't know if I escaped or just went away for a little while because every chance I get, I'm right back down there in the mountains, you know. You can leave that place, but that's always going to be home, you know, always. That was a big step for you to go to New York, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I moved uh, moved up there, and I'd never been in the city before. Mm. Just took off and went up there and wanted to act and knew that was a place to go and study, so my mother dro drove me up there and found an apartment, and she dropped me off and said, see you later. So did you get lucky right off the bat, or did you, uh, you know, have some hard times? Well, oh, yeah, there was definitely some hard times. I mean, the, when I first got to New York, it was basically just going there to study and to do theater. You know, I wasn't really pursuing too much, you know, the career aspect as far as, like, getting an agent and all that stuff. You know, I just really wanted to, to find myself in the craft, so to speak, and, and really take that time, you know. And then from there out to Los Angeles where, you know, I really started going after it. But, you know, tough times. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to recommend the the gig to somebody. I mean, it all works out. It obviously has worked out great for you. You're on a wonderful yeah. show. But it's uh, it's like watching sausage being made. It's not pretty. Yeah, you you know, you do really bad jobs. You you work crazy hours for no money. You eat ramen noodles 15 times a day for, for a month sometimes. And, you know, it's crazy. You know, you really pay your dues. And it's got to be something you want to do because it's not fun living that way. Yeah. You in know? that little bitty place I'm sure you lived in like everybody oh, does. Yeah. Yeah, and just the constant knowing you have something to offer, but not having that opportunity or that outlet to, you know, to let it out of you. What was it like going into this show, which is already up and running, and it's probably a pretty close little family there, although it's had some cast changes fairly recently, and your character's kind of, well, he's not a jerk, really, but, I mean, he's got jerk factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a jerk. Yeah, he's a jerk. He's a jerk. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to say that. So, I mean, yeah. you even having to act like a jerk, and you're the new guy. So, is that yeah. hard? No, you know what? It, it actually made it easier. When you have such a clear, defined path for mm -hmm. your character, it leaves a lot of the, the guessing, you know, out of it. So, you know, I knew what, a, what the character was, and I knew what I had to do, which made it even easier, you know. And coming in with a bang, I think, is always the best way to come in anyway. You're not a method guy, are you, where you have to be a jerk off camera? No, I mean, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. I mean, there's some things about method that are good and some things I just don't buy into, but, you know. But you have to get there in that little place sometimes, and that's, that's yeah. kind of a hard place to live. Yeah, it is, you know, and you're, you're there for, you know, long hours sometimes, and they've given me quite a range of uh, things to play, you know, emotionally and everything like that, and sometimes it is. It's, it's taxing, and it's wearing, and it's, you know. You just you get in that place and you stay there for a while and just emotionally and physically drained at the end of those days. It seems sure. like Third Watch almost every year almost reinvents itself, and maybe that's the smartness of the you know the big guys that produce the show. But uh, do they give you like a mission statement of what they're trying to do, an overall view of the show before you get in? Well, the writers are and producers are great about keeping an open line of communication, and you know we we talk a lot about the storylines and what way they you know, they're, what ways they're going with the character and the, and the storylines with him and with other people. And, you know, they do, but at the same time, they leave a lot of creative freedom up to us. You know, it's like at this point, I know my character so well that if I get a script and I'm like, well, I, you know, this is great and I think this or I think that, I can call them up and say, you know, I think he'd maybe be a little more like this or he might be a little less of a punk here and, you know, it's great. They, they leave open that door for a lot of That's creative good. conversation.
so they're not just that rigid. That probably would be not a lot of fun. No, I couldn't imagine it would be. But, you know, these guys are great, and they, they love to hear what we have to say about it. And, you know, in turn, we love to hear what they have to say about it. You going to jump into movies a little bit more? Yeah. Try to get into that during hiatuses? Yeah. yeah what kind of stuff you want to play? Drama? Yeah, mostly drama. I mean, Different than the character you play on television? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely want to change it up and, and go in different How directions. How about playing a bad guy? I bet you could do that. You could play some I've, little Sean Penn kind of roles. Or, yeah, I've played quite a few bad guys. That. Yeah. Kind of rough, kind of weirdos. Not weirdos, but I just see you having rough a around, character yeah. with an edge, you know? Yeah. Some guy's got a real strange past or something like that. Oh, you yeah. You have dangerous eyes. I could just see that. Yeah, you know, something that's just anything that's challenging that's going to go somewhere a little differently than where I've been yeah. for the past, you know, eight or nine months on the show. Well, I think you're going to do great. I think it's been a nice bang out of the box, and I think you're going to have a movie career too. So well, I'll you. be seeing you again. All right, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I can see you doing a lot of stuff. That's good because, you know, agents like in Hollywood like